Thanks for joining us for another edition of Communication Steroids, the weekly podcast that shows you how to become a better public speaker, a more effective presenter, and a conscious and clear communicator. This is where you can find tips, tools, and techniques that you can put to use today. Here are your hosts of Communication Steroids, Tim Gonzo-Gordon and Roger Pike. Hello and welcome to another edition of Communication Steroids, the podcast. I'm Tim Gordon. And I'm Roger Pike. Thanks for joining us. We are glad you are here. It is from the website, Communication Steroids, where our motto is... Uh... Unbelievable. You just (laughs) failed the trivia test. Uh, Add uh, muscle to your your message. message. I know. Doofus. (laughs) Actually, we're going to make that... add muscle to your message. You doofus. We're going to add that (laughs) to the... uh, tagline so add muscle to your message yeah yeah Yeah. anyway uh you have a great idea for a podcast tonight we're going to expound on this yeah Yeah, i was pretty pleased with well it's it's five ways that ignoring the social media can cost you money it's it's meant for the business people out there it's meant for you executives who sit in your corner (laughs) offices and think social media is just tweets yes if you're in charge of something and you think that social media should be a part of it but you're kind of ignoring it because you don't understand it there's a lot of reasons why you should take a harder look at it. Just because you don't understand something doesn't mean you don't know people that do understand it. Is that what is that come out right? I'm nodding my head for those of you in, <laughs> in podcast. Yeah. Well. And for those of you in video land, uh, thanks for joining us here on YouTube or on, on the website. So, yeah. so what are some of the reasons that you have in mind? Here, well, right? I thought we were going to take a break there. No, but... no, we're not. We're, <laughs> we're bag- going to march right we're on through. We're bagging huh? the break. We're jumping right in. All right. Well, yeah. uh, I, I wrote down. To, I'll, I'll, tell wrote down last. I'll tell you I'll tell you why. Okay. Because uh, it's easier to sync up the audio this way. <laughs> <laughs> there has got to be a reason, and that's a darn good one. Yeah, exactly. By well, the way, if you look over my head, right, right. Uh, let's see, where is it? If I can do this, um, <laughs> I can't get my hand. Oh, how about right here? Yeah, that's Billy Gibbons. Yeah, that's Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top. It's a picture oh. <laughs> I took, by the way. <laughs> it's right. Yeah, it's right that there. way. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it really is. Reasons why ignoring the social media can come. I'm going to drag this conversation back on topic here. I'm, Thank you. It, it may be kicking and screaming all the way, yes. but I'm going to drag it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drag it back on topic. Uh, I came up with five, and they right. all have to do with what you're going to lose if you if you ignore the social well, let's media. Let's see if I agree with these, because I've barely heard a, a snippet of these. So. Well, there's the, the, the first one is loss of an outstanding customer service tool. A lot of companies, especially larger ones, are using Twitter mm-hmm. uh, as customer service tools, as yeah. well as uh, Facebook. But Twitter, uh, there's some great examples. Ford, uh, Comcast are the two that come to mind that they're using Best it, Buy. Best Buy. For immediate response, like within mm-hmm. minutes mm-hmm. of customer service issues. You can almost have a conversation on Twitter. Well, you can. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and it is a quick and relatively free yeah. way of creating a rapid customer response unit. It just takes someone who can monitor that and do mm-hmm. searches for the keywords. If you're a Comcast, you're always searching for Comcast. If mm-hmm. you're Ford, you're searching for Ford, whatever those uh, keywords may be. And when something pops up, you can respond really in real time. And address that issue right then and right and, there. And you know what that does? Versions and because it becomes a problem. That makes happy customers. It makes happy customers for crying out loud. And isn't that what we all want? So, yeah, if you ignore that, you ignore it at your own peril. Now, understand, for smaller businesses, if you're you're like a solopreneur right. or a very small business with four or five people or ten people. It's going to be a lot harder. To get the manpower to do that, and it may not be as critical. Right. But for the medium-sized business to larger businesses, that's certainly something you can do. And you can set up alarms, though. You can set up alarms so that you are alerted yep. to uh, to to when something happens that, yes. you, that you might want to respond to. Right. The second one was loss of control over message. Can now, from bloggers critiquing your product to employees, you know, disgruntled employees, right. fired employees getting on the net and, and saying their, <laughs> their boss is a stinker, uh, you need to know what's being said about you on the net. And, and you, yes, you do. Yes. And the and if you're not if you're not if you are not keeping track of what's being said, then you're losing control over your message because there's a conversation going out there, whether you are aware of it or not. And a lot of times that conversation involves you. Or your products, or your industry, or your company. That conversation is going to go on. If you are aware of it, you can respond and nip things in the bud. Exactly. If you are not helping to brand yourself in the social media, somebody's going to step Guess in and what? do that for Someone's you. Someone's doing that for you. <laughs> exactly. Already. And you may not like it. That's so true. It, it, can you imagine what the world would, what, what, uh, what social media would have responded like had, uh, had, they been, had we been around with social media back in the time of New Coke? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That I mean, conversation look, would have been amazing. Look what happened a couple of weeks ago when The Gap changed their logo, and within a week they changed it back, back. because there was such a pushback from, oh, my God, I can't believe. There was websites out there that – because the, the logo was so simple mm-hmm. and uncreative that there was a website that said, create your own Gap logo. Just type <laughs> your name in. Here's your new logo. looks just like The Gap. <laughs> they got a lot of pushback, and they responded – and said, mm, I guess we'll not do this. I think we'll change our minds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you need to be able to control branding, of course. I mean, that's a basic principle of business. You have to brand yourself. And 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 social media is one place where now you got to do it. Yeah. The third thing that I came up with is loss of a burgeoning marketing tool. Burgeoning marketing. Burgeon. I love that word because it sounds like what it is, right? It's you also like a professor too. I should call you Professor Pike. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. I think So a burgeoning fits. marketing tool. Well, it is. It's growing and and if you're not on social media doing some sort of marketing or or listening or responding, you're missing out. You're right. It's the loss of that tool. Yeah. Already some uh, organizations, some groups are getting this. Yeah. Uh, uh, there for a while, especially when uh, MySpace was, was, was so big, uh, a lot of musicians got their start right. uh, on MySpace. They developed a following on MySpace before they, they started selling mega records. It's uh, true. There, uh, I, the one I can think of right off the top of my head is uh, Colby Kaye. The, oh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I have two of her yeah. CDs. Well, it's, I, I'm digressing here just a moment, but mm-hmm. the, the story I heard was that, yeah, because of her uh, MySpace page, she got a lot of great play, and that was exactly what did it. And then I realized uh, she was the daughter of the Doobie Brothers producer in the <laughs> 70s and 80s. And that, no, she has more of an inside connection than just yeah, than just social. And out, yeah, than so, just so social that media. helped. Yeah, yeah. But I think the inside connection probably helped a little more. I tell this story all the time, though. I mean, the last time, and I've 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 told it on Communication Steroids podcast, but I'm going to tell it again, and that is the last time I bought a camera. Oh yeah. I mean, I I I uh, needed a a a a digital. I have my SLR, my big film loading SLR, but I wanted a little digital that I could throw in my pocket on a cruise that I went on. So I went out and I. Did what I do for buying everything these days. I went on the net. Yep. I looked at the blogs. I looked at customer feedback. I, you know, everybody gives stars. I saw which which cameras in my price range had the best customer uh, had the best consumer reviews, both by the experts at the cam- fields of camera and by people who had actually bought one and was were, were trying to use it. And then I went out and bought that camera. I didn't say. And did it, does it work? It, it, it's a, it, it works great. <laughs> I didn't set foot into brick and mortar until I knew exactly what model camera. Well, I was you know, when buy. I bought my last digital camera, I went out to went to the store and said, uh, "My budget range is 150 bucks. What do you got?" They gave me one. I said, uh, "What's the brand?" I think it was Panasonic or something. Mm-hmm. I said, "Yeah, it's good. I'll buy it." See, my research was was a little different. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great camera. It's done just fine. <laughs> well, uh, uh, all I'm saying is is that is that a lot of things are now marketed whether you want it or not. Well, that's true. It, and, I'll, I'll, and I'm saying that uh, we have different approaches to doing the same thing. Yeah. So, okay. And, and, and let's face it. The, the, the social media is the new water cooler. It's the new backyard yeah, it fence. Oh, it's yeah. the new front porch swing. It's where people gather to talk. Well, there was a uh, Blog World Expo in Vegas here about a week, week and a half ago. And I was following a lot of the conferences, the in you know the, the the speeches that were going on by tracking the hashtag, and ah. I came up with some great nuggets. And I started creating, I created a, a word document, started cutting and pasting some of the great nuggets in there. And I have a, a three or four pages of interesting tidbits that came from presentations just by following the conversation on Twitter from people that were at those shows tweeting at the time the comments were coming out. It, that's where it's happening. Yeah, I mean, that's where it's it, happening. It is. The last thing I came up with is, is that you lose a valuable personnel resource. And how's that? Well, so many businesses these days, a lot of businesses these days, and if you are out there looking for work, you'll be advised by uh, 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 job help professionals that your Facebook site, your LinkedIn site, they're going to get visited oh, yes. by a lot of employers. Yeah. Uh, and if you're not using that tool, you are losing valuable insight into a potential employee. For instance, and something I haven't done but I want to do, uh, is to go to my Facebook page and put some uh, voice demos on there, for instance. Oh, and that's a great a idea. Because yeah. Yeah, you can create special thing. notes pages uh, or, or uh, information pages. And I've got a couple of those types of things there, but I don't have that. And so mm-hmm. I think that's one of the things that I could do. If there was 28 hours a day, I'd have more of this stuff done, I'm telling you. <laughs> but the other, thing, 
The other thing is that if you are online, you have to remember that there's no privacy. So don't put anything on Facebook or Twitter or your LinkedIn page that you don't want people to see. Just there's, assume it's forever. There's Whatever no, yeah. you write, assume it's forever. And there is no difference between your personal and professional life in the day of social media these none. days. There, there's none. Uh, because your, your professional colleagues are going to see what's going on in your personal life, and your friends are going to see what's going on in your professional life. That's just the way it is. There are three things in this world you need to just assume. You need to assume that all knives are sharp. <laughs> you need to assume... The gun's loaded. ...that all <laughs> microphones are hot... <laughs> You just have to figure that's true. And the last thing you need to assume is if you write it on the web, it's going to be there forever. That holds true for email. Mm -hmm. You send an email. You think it's a private email to your buddy yeah. from a work account? Nah, it's it's archived somewhere. Yeah. If it's a link to your favorite porn site, it's archived. Yeah. I'm sorry. There, 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 are, there are programs, and most big businesses use them. I know State Farm did, uh, that for their, their work computers, they will log every keystroke. Big Brother's watching you. Yeah, they're watching you. And he's logging your keystrokes. Yeah, you keystrokes. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are all great ideas. That's uh, what I came up with for there you uh, go. for my reasons why. If you're ignoring the social marketing, you are you are costing yourself money. And that's another. Uh, gosh, I'd say that's about an A minus podcast we just uh, <laughs> shoved out into the ether right here. <laughs> a minus. A minus. Well, uh, considering that our our level is a C, a C grade, you know, we just. <laughs> We just we just hit, we just hit a triple. We, yeah, well, exactly. You know, <laughs> we just hit a triple. <laughs> yeah, we didn't think we were born on second base or third base. <laughs> we actually hit the triple. We actually like, hit the triple. Unlike some, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Don't go there. All right, uh, that's the podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm Roger Pike. I'm Tim Gordon. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>